Hey guys, so today we're doing an AMSOIL oil change over to the AMSOIL Signature Series 0W20. This is my 2003 Honda Accord that I am the proud owner of. And I've had this car about four months or so, put about 5,000 miles on it. And go ahead and subscribe and check out all the stuff I've done to this Honda. I've done several things to the transmission with AMSOIL fluids and even um, the AMSOIL intake cleaner, the power phone. But anyway, time has come. We're going to do an engine flush because there's probably 195,000 miles worth of, you know, deposits inside. Even though this was a one owner car and they changed the oil pretty religiously, uh, we'll, this will help us to ensure that we start clean. And then the AMSOIL, this is 100% synthetic. It's chemically engineered and it stands up amazingly well to heat and everything else you can throw at it. And we're going to be using the EA15K13 on this car. So let's get into it. We're going to be installing a gold plug, which is a super powerful uh, magnetic drain plug. And I've used these in several vehicles so far. Um, they're about 20 bucks. I got this one on Amazon and it shipped directly from Gold Plug, so I had to pay a few bucks shipping. But um, yeah, check them out. They're, uh, they're pretty good. They're very, very strong magnets. Let me, let me see here. I mean, through the package, it can, it can do that with this ratchet. So it's, uh, they're pretty strong. They're going to pull the uh, ferrous material out, and uh, that's going to be a good thing. So I'm going to dump in the AMSOIL engine flush, and it's going to help us to start with a clean engine. And you can switch over to AMSOIL without doing this, but it's uh, it just helps. It helps to start clean. Yeah probably have a funnel. I didn't want to use my same funnel that I ooh, used for the transmission the other day. I haven't wiped it out yet, but definitely make it easier. So this is a detergent based engine flush. Amsoil had an old one when I started this in 06 that was a uh, solvent based. I think it was mostly kerosene and uh, that was a great engine flush. I never had any issues but this is definitely a more gentle formulation. It's a detergent based cleaner rather than a, a solvent like kerosene. So now we're just gonna cap it again and start up and let it idle 10 to 15 minutes and don't put the engine under a load or try to drive it or anything. The engine idle 10 to 15 minutes and it'll circulate and clean everything and then we'll drain it out and get this change going. Alright guys, I actually cracked the bolt loose off camera because it was really really tight and uh, yeah I got it now. I thought I was gonna smack the camera when the uh, when it finally did come loose. So um, wear gloves because this oil is going to be hot with the engine having just uh, idled for 15 minutes. Now I am changing out this plug anyway, but we'll look at it. I don't know if this is a magnetic. I don't think it is, but this is my first oil change on this car so yep no looks like the standard Honda plug and uh, yeah look how fast that is running out of course I did pull my dipstick a little bit to uh, let it drain we want to get a good drain on this we got the car raised on ramps so uh, this is you know a little bit downhill so we will let this drain as long as uh, time allows and 
we'll go ahead and get our gold plug ready with our new crush washer that it comes with. Gonna get all this old oil and flush out of here. This is my preferred style of filter wrench, but there are uh, lots of different varieties, and it's really whatever you can get clearance to work with. And I may need a, I might need a slight extension, but now I might be able to, it depends. Judging by how tight that oil plug was, um, no, actually it's not that, not that bad. So, yeah, this looks like a standard, uh, you know, type thing. Yeah, parts plus, you know, but um, so we'll be getting a quality Amsoil oil filter on there. And normally I do not wait, uh, you know, super long on, you know, non-synthetic oil. But uh, I had bought this car. It recently had an oil change. And so I thought, ah, I'll run it a thousand miles or so before switching to Amsoil. Here we are months later and 5,000 miles. But uh, anyway, I think that's pretty standard for conventional Anyway, and this is actually, uh, according to the paperwork, I do have all the paperwork from the previous owner, and this uh, was changed with 520 semi-synthetic synthetic blend. So, and there you go. Let's see how the filter looks in there. Nothing crazy, um, but definitely excited and glad to be changing it and getting uh getting that synthetic in there this one i can't tell if that is a drain back valve um this filter is almost vertical so it's probably not a huge deal but the amsoils do have the high quality orange anti-drain back valve so so guys if you place an order at my website, Number One Synthetic, or at amsoil.com. There'll be a link down in the first comment below to all these products, by the way. But um, you're gonna get this one. This is the up, uh, updated version of this filter, the EA15K13. These are identical internal, um, 15,000 mile or one year oil change. This has got the grip coating. But I'm going to be using this one. This is my old stock, uh, the previous uh, gen. But they're both 98.7% efficient at 20 microns. And so these are super um, efficient filtration, 15,000 miles or one year. Uh, they do have the orange, that's a silicone anti-drain back valve. So again, if your filter was mounted, say like this, um, it's going to keep the oil in there and prevent dry starts and so really good filter really good oil it's the way to go so what we'll do is rip it open and we got to lube the gasket and I like to pre-fill and just a little less that your engine has to run without oil and AMS oil you know, they manufacture right in Superior, Wisconsin, and they filter their oils uh, before bottling. So they are safe to, um, you know, pour right into here. And this oil does go directly to your bearings on startup. So, yeah, if you are using a lower quality product that may not be clean right out of the bottle, then you could have a reason to be concerned, but never fear with AMSOIL. Oil, oil our gasket. Get this in place. So guys, yeah, use um, you know, use the best oil and the best filters you can, and if you're not comfortable 
going a year uh, change it more often absolutely um, that's actually what I did when I first got into Amsoil back in 06 before I even became a dealer I was like so you know I can't go a year I can't even go six months without changing my oil and so you know it took me some time to begin to trust the products but anyway I've come to uh, trust the products I've done oil analysis and you know do what you're comfortable with all right guys so got my gold plug brand new just stuck here to the frame Ooh, just to show you how uh, tight of a you know how good of a magnet that is I mean that is it's a strong uh, neodymium magnet but there's the uh, can you see that gold plug is it AP 02 and uh, yeah I just like I said I got this on Amazon but you can go straight to their website as well so wiped it clean let's get it in here makes it easier to actually put it in on these Hondas with the uh, I guess it's aluminum or whatever this is uh, non ferrous oil pan because uh, my old red Chevy that I uh, that went on to its new owner I had one in there and that thing would stick to that steel oil pan and it was super hard to sometimes to get it in because it would just want to grab on and you're trying to put it in there but anyway just be careful and thread it nice and of course I recommend using a brand new aluminum crush washer at each oil change and you know there's a torque spec but I just honestly I just do it uh, even know if I could get my torque wrench under here so we'll clean up we'll hit this with some brake cleaner before we fill up with the AMS oil All right, it's time to anoint this Honda with the oil of gladness. What we have here is the Amsoil 100% synthetic, 0W20, and Jesse's going to do the honors with that. Make sure you get it in there, buddy. Come on. So on a side note, this Honda has not used a drop of oil in the 5,000 miles I've owned it so um, so I think I got a really tight engine here it runs really well yeah we'll let that drain and uh, we'll put I think about four and a half of these in um, on a, another side note Amsoil does make a 5w20 which is what this Honda actually calls for and you would be welcome to use that I just prefer the 0w20 and um, I'm known for using 0W30 in my um, cars that call for 530, but it's totally up to you. All right. Down in the first comment below where you can put in your year make model and engine and find out exactly what AMSOA products are recommended for your vehicle and there's free shipping over a hundred bucks so and people used to complain hey Amsoil is hard to get but you go online and generally two to three days you have your stuff 
Um, there's like 14 warehouses in the U.S. and Canada. Four and a half quarts in. And oil light is out. We got oil pressure. There's that mileage. If I didn't already show you, 195, 586. Thing runs tight. Um, like I said, hasn't used a drop of oil. And that was without uh, AMS oil. So now that we've got the 100% synthetic AMS oil in there, I'm only anticipating better. No leaks from the filter. Let's shed a little light on the subject. There's the filter. No leaks. Where's our oil plug? Ah, uh, gee. There it is. No leaks. I need to clean that up a little bit better, but I was running out of brake clean. So, alright. Back her down the ramps and make sure everything's full. All right, guys, I put my engine cover back on. Just had that off the other day and never put it back on. And uh, let's do a final check here. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this does with the AMS oil. Yeah, be sure to subscribe. I just did some different things. I've done transmission pressure switches, I've done uh, the internal filter on this transmission, and I've done a couple drain and fills with the Amsoil ATF on this uh, transmission on this car. So yeah, right on the money. I don't know if you can see that. It is right there. So looking good. Alright guys, check that first comment below for links to the products and uh, try Amsoil for yourself. My name's Mike Troll, Amsoil dealer, 1463115. If you go through amsoil.com or amsoil.ca in Canada, be sure to put in my name and referral number if you wanna help me out. Thanks a lot. Guys, this thing is running really good.